production. Don't make this edit, make this instead. For everyone who doesn't know, this is a series where I teach you guys exactly why the edit I made was correct, or if I did it bad or incorrect, then I would go back into creative and show you guys why. The goal of this video is to teach you guys exactly what edits are most optimal, even though I get the kill. During these solo fights, I walk you guys through exactly what I'm doing in slow motion. That way you can have the best understanding about what's going on. Now hear me out just for one second. Most of the time I do these in solos, and I do have a lot of solo clips for this video. For the sake of this series, I'm a little pressed on time, and at the moment I'm working on a 100 tips and tricks video. So I had a bunch of clips from stream today when when I play with phase replays and I'm going to include why those edits I made with him were really good. So just to be clear, there's going to be solo tips as well as duo tips, but at the same time, it was soloing in the duo, if that makes any sense. If you want to support this channel, don't forget to use code KenBeans in the item shop. And without further ado, it's your man Ken Beans, and let's hop into this. I'm going to try my best to get through as many fights as fast as possible in this episode because I'm tired of having not a lot in there. I can't explain to you how important tax are nowadays. They're slowly starting to grow on me and they're absolutely crazy. Most important thing about this fight was I made two boxes and as you can see, it played out really well for me. This guy was one of the most aggro players at the start of a fight, but notice what he did here. He swung at my wall after he ran in and placed two cones. He got really good piece control, but he didn't get the wall. I knew that he was going to try and take it right away, so all I did was wait for him to swing his pickaxe before I made the edit. That way, he would be a little off guard and not get a shotgun out in time. Then I just got right in his face and practically kissed the guy and just got the kill. Notice how I connected myself at the start of this fight before I continued to ramp rush. All I did was look down while still in my stare and then just continued forward afterwards. You see why I don't let this fight get to height? I placed these cones by looking up extra extra high that way they almost look like they're glitched in the middle of my screen it's a little hard to explain but if you look a little higher when you're trying to place cones like this one in this exact position you could place the double edit and go in just like i did right here now pay attention because i missed the wall here now what i tried to do before i placed the wall was get the cone on top of him that way he couldn't go any higher even though it didn't place in this example that's exactly what you want to do so the fight does not get to height now here's a quick side jump move that i do so often what i do is shoot them and then place the cone then place the floor and then place something to land on if i made a window edit here instead of fully opened up this would have been way more optimal a bunch of shots were choked but we ended up getting the kill here's how to take someone's wall behind a stair edit just like this i noticed that this guy was behind his box so the wall that i'm breaking right now is not going to be replaced so i just instantly skipped that and placed the stair edit it to go for the next wall what i did was play outside that box when i made that stair edit so that way if he charges at me i won't get shot see how i'm playing patient and aggro at the same time this is what you want to do then i started taking the box from a far enough distance to where if you were to edit out i can instantly place another wall again once i got the wall i could have made a window edit here instead that probably would have been a little bit more optimal but instead i just did the bottom right hand corner edit and then got a nice right hand peek behind the stair that i just placed i aim for the head and get the kill in one shot now even though i fell just look at where i placed this cone in this floor i have 100 tips and tricks peace control video coming up that talks exactly about this move right here learn how to place the double edit above someone's wall or build just like this now if i didn't fall here it would have been a good clip but i still got the kill now this is an edit that you do not want to make a lot of times this is the way i get 50 50 then shot and even though i'm in the zone i don't want to take damage i should have made the double edit and then place a wall and then edit it through that for a right hand piece. You see how I'm at a diagonal of the piece control I just built? That's really awkward and not gonna allow me to place a wall in the correct position without just feeling weird about it. So many people do not know how to roll up to a full metal box or full metal tarp just like this. What you wanna do is play from a further enough distance so that you can replace one cone before you attack another box. Don't let them have both double edits on you because you're gonna get double edited on and pumped really hard. Once I realized this, what I decided to do was just place the cone and go to a different angle so that can't happen. Then what I did here was instead of open up the entire edit i made a single edit and then all i did was just try and go for a jump shot as that guy was going into the other box this is the best edit you want to make once i did that high wall all i do is place a window edit and then place a cone through that and side jump right away one of my most utilized moves right here after i got the shot on this guy what i should have done was edited a tile somewhere either in the middle or to the right to place the walls and block him in even though i did wrap up the kill here that's not the good play window edit like me and you will never get one pump i have a complete guide on exactly how to window edit like a pro and i'm telling you just because i'm not a pro doesn't mean this is how pros do it. This is so, so good. What I did here was take the wall normally and duck and move to the left. That way that guy won't have any shot to see me. As you can see, if he did see me like he kind of did right here, he just got a chip damage shot on me, not a heavy damage shot. That trade is exactly what you want to do to make sure that you won't get shot on your window edits. I practice this move all the time in Raider 464's Peace Control map. What you got to do is just place cones and extend that cone out extra far and then place the wall to gain peace control. From there, what I should have done was make a window edit instead of opening up the whole 
thing to let this guy leave. Because I'm trying to go so peace control heavy, I'm not focusing on the most optimal edits. What I need to do in this situation is slow down my thought process so I can think about the correct edit to make in the situation. I tried to extend my cones here, but it didn't work in this scenario, but you still want to practice that. The rest of these clips are going to be clips with phase replays and I, and I'm telling you, these are still just as good. I just want to let you guys know of the switch up of the pace of this video so that way you know exactly what to expect. I like to do that in all my videos. Here's a quick reminder to hit the sub button and the like button for the one time. I appreciate you guys if you enjoy the content. Right away, I instantly put a cone above this guy's box and then start spraying the stair, but notice what I'm doing here. I'm behind the right hand peak where my head is barely exposed and I'm taking the stair so I can do a right hand peak edit and that way by the time I jump, it's like a top right hand corner edit. This makes kids lost and not only that, it just makes them feel uncomfortable because they have nothing else to do. I'm including this dual piece control because no one understands how important this is to get the kill. Replays and I are both trying to take this guy's wall but on different angles. When this guy goes for any wall because replays is on the opposite side of that wall trying to get it, what I'm doing is playing this really slow. I'm making sure that no matter what wall this guy breaks that I'm going to claim it back so that he's forced to stay in this box and get shot from two different sides. I'm making this guy look like a clown because he doesn't know what to expect and then by the time that happens replay shoots him, I shoot him, he's dead. Now not only can you do this against someone in duos but you can also do the same move in solo. Whenever you take someone off guard what you want to do is claim the wall that you're on and then once you claim that you edit through and cone up and down. Once I hit him you saw I was outside the box just in case he wanted to shoot me back. Because he looked lost what I did was just continue shooting and he was dead. But if he was looking at me then I just reset. The second I shot this guy I instantly placed a floor to get separation between me and him. Think of it like an NFL player when they stick their hand out to try and block the guy from tackling him. From there once I had him on that floor I instantly made an edit that dropped him down so it was an extremely hard angle for him to shoot me back. Doing it fast like this was the reason why this guy looked clueless. I actually really like this play because it happened so much. I think I got a little bit of help here because I was on a pepper but the second I got to stare over this guy and he places a wall in front of me what I do is side jump and try and claim the wall that he's looking at. From there the second I grab that I instantly do a window edit and finish the surrounding walls around him. Notice how I'm doing a window edit but I'm so far behind the window that even though this guy's looking with his shotgun out he's not shooting me because he just doesn't have an angle. No flex but once again that window edit tutorial is linked down below. Now we shook his boy and we see where he's at. As I'm falling you see how I place the cone first and then the wall? This is to stop the guy from continuing up on height. Once I walk around to finish the box notice how I edit out the bottom left hand side and then as I'm confirming this window edit again your boy is completely behind cover the whole time. Me and replays double pump him he's dead. This is exactly how you want to make this edit. When you're rushing a kid like this and you almost got him full box what you do is you saw I placed the cones more than like one tile away. I got those cones first before I placed the wall I edit in and I go crazy with my movement and try and kill the guy. I'm swerving and using the double movement to my advantage. After his boy comes in this is the edit you want to make. See this window edit where I don't expose myself to anything even though it's only one player I'm playing it really slow and patient so that we guarantee the kill and no one takes a lot of damage. Now oh my god did this guy get boxed but that's not the point that I want to mention. Once I shot him then I go for the cone because when he jumps he's just gonna bang his head on the ceiling and then your boy's got the kill. Now Raider if you're watching this this is all because of your maps I love you. What I did was extend the cone out again and then instead of doing anything else what I do is do the top right hand corner edit and then try and go for the cone above the guy. So I spammed a little extra cones but it ended up working out. All you have to do is extend the cones then edit the wall and then shoot the guy at the top right hand corner. That's the edit you want to make right there. So look I got the wall again instead of rushing into this guy's box what I could have done instead was do a window edit that way I was completely behind cover the whole time. I was trying to go for the clip and make it look nice that's the only reason why I did this. We've been absolutely killing it on stream and I just want to say thank you guys for everyone who supports me use my code comes to my stream likes the video watches the video. I'm almost partnered on Twitch the partner push is going strong and I love every single one of you guys. Shout out to everyone on the screen right now using code KenBeans. If you don't already know, feel free to stop by in the stream. Link down below. If you want to be featured in the next video, just send me proof on Instagram or Twitter. The 100 tip peace control video is coming soon, so drop a sub if you're new. Look forward to that. Merch has arrived at my house. I just want to let you guys know the design was just a prototype, so I'm not showing you just yet, but I just want to let you be aware of that. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or a good night. Deuces, everyone. Peace.